Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome back to the channel. I am very excited for today's unboxing because this just arrived. This is some original artwork from one of my favorite artists of all time, Sergio Aragones, or as a lot of people call him, Sergio Aragones. Sergio has been in the business for a very long time. He recently celebrated his 85th birthday. And what I have here is a complete issue of Gru the Wanderer, one of my favorite comic books growing up as a kid. But my fascination with Sergio's work predates my love of comic books and goes way back to these right here. Mad Magazine. I would go to the supermarket every month with my mom just to see if they had a new issue on the newsstands. Uh, I would read these things from cover to cover. I love the different artwork, the stories. Of course, they didn't have the internet back in the day, so this was a great form of entertainment. So these are some of the issues that I still have from my childhood. I believe Sergio started on Mad in 1963 and continued all the way up till 2020 and only because they kind of transitioned into doing reprints. I'm sure if they were still making new content, he would still be going at it. He is sometimes billed as being the fastest cartoonist in the world, and I believe during his entire mad run, he only missed one issue due to sickness and a little mix up with the Postal Service. But his work is not only limited to Gru and Mad Magazine, I remember seeing a lot of his stuff on TV. He did the animations on Dick Clark and Ed McMahon's TV's bloopers and practical jokes. So he's been around for a very long time, a big part of my childhood, things I watched on TV, things I read. Uh, so I'm very happy to have some of his work right here. I do own a Sergio cover. This one is from Gru El Arrante Numero Cinco, also known as Gru the Wanderer number five, reprinted in Spanish. Uh, so it's not from the main title. I think in the Spanish version, they redid all the speech bubbles and I believe it was also printed in black and white. So I was really happy to have this one in my collection. However, I had Sergio do a sketch during a recent charity stream. So I was able to add this Wolverine and Gru versus the Dragon commission from him. So one of my original art collecting goals is to have a Wolverine done by my favorite artist. So uh, since Sergio is on that list, definitely had to take the opportunity to have Sergio do a Wolverine next to his most popular character. But even though I have those pieces, I was still looking for a Marvel cover of Gru the Wanderer. I was put in touch with his daughter, Kristen, who handles a lot of his business transactions. And we were kind of going over things that he had available. A lot of his early art is very sentimental to him. So I understood he didn't want to let some of that stuff go. He did have some covers for sale that I liked. Uh, but when I heard that he was offering full issues, uh, it really sparked my interest. Now, unfortunately, a lot of them were a little bit above my price range. Uh, original art these days is going for insane amounts, but I was able to strike up a deal and end up with this right here. Without further ado, let me present to you guys the original artwork for Gru the Wanderer number 89. So I switched over to a bird's eye view to give you guys a close up look at this masterpiece right here. Okay, so here it is. I guess when he completed each issue, he would just put it in an envelope and uh, put it away for safekeeping. So let's go ahead and slide this thing out. And look at this, he even included a copy of the book. I already own a copy of his run from Marvel, but uh, what an awesome touch to actually include the book that these pages were made for. Right off the bat, we're gonna start with the cover. It's kind of got this uh, extra little uh, tracing paper, kind of a thick vellum sheet on top, I guess to uh, help protect it. It's got the uh, trade dress and everything. A lot of times when you get original art, it's just the art, all the uh, pricing, some of the text may be missing, but it's all here, just as it was presented on that cover. So when I was trying to figure out which issue I wanted to request, one was that it have a very cool cover, obviously. Uh, I was looking for something with some action, maybe Gru and his dog Referto in some kind of battle, maybe a big scene with a lot of uh, background detail, which Sergio does amazingly, or something with Chakal, Gru's crush, I guess you would say. 
Very cool to have her represented here on the cover, kind of in a battle with Gru. And uh, Roberto's here too. He's over there in the uh, little marble box up there. And it says Chikal's back. And in parentheses, her front's here too. <laughs> Just some of that uh, Sergio humor. Very cool looking cover. Some of the pencil still there, which I love. Not only do we get all the story pages for this issue, but we also get the inside of the front cover. And Sergio has a little behind the scenes look. Here is him and Mark Evanier uh, back in the editing room as they are kind of uh, joking about the contents of the book. Sometimes when you buy the complete issue, you only get the 22 page story. But here we get the interior cover as well. So I thought that was awesome. And then here we have page number one. The lettering here was done by the great Stan Sakai. You might know his work from Usagi Yojimbo. He did the lettering for a lot of these uh, Who the Wanderer issues. I'm not sure if he did all of them, but for as long as I remember, he was the letterer. And just like uh, a lot of original art, the lines are a lot crisper than the actual printed version. Sometimes the resolution on those printed pages kind of uh, distort the image a bit. So another must have for the issue was a double page spread. Now, a lot of these Gru the Wanderer comic books were kind of formatted the same way. Um, we would have the interior cover, then we would have the single introductory panel page, and then once you flip that page over, you were greeted with a double page spread. And the double page spread was usually super detailed. Sometimes it had a big Gru, sometimes it had a small Gru, sometimes it didn't have Gru at all, but without a doubt, you can always count on that double page spread being something fantastic. And you can just see right here, all the detail. We got the big title. This story was titled The Cult. We have a little introduction here on the scroll. And then, uh, a ton of people and buildings. That's one of the things I love about Sergio's work is his attention to detail and his ability to draw massive crowds. You can kind of look at different things in here and each time you look at it, you see something you didn't see the first time. So we got some carriages going on here, houses in the background. And basically the story of this whole thing was that this uh, cult kind of came to town and was kind of taken over and they had to ask Gru to come help them. So there's Gru right there, little credits right there. Yeah, that's definitely one thing I had to have was the classic Gru the Wanderer double page spread. Shortly after this, he kind of changed up the format a little bit. And instead of having a double page spread, he would have like a single page splash. Uh, still with a lot of great detail, but maybe uh, these double page spreads were a little bit too time consuming or maybe the editor just didn't want it. I don't know. Or maybe uh, Sergio, if you're watching this, you can chime in. Then we go into some of the uh, story panel pages. We're trying to get Gru to come help them. We're kind of in the little tavern. Another cool thing about this uh, that I kind of missed was that some of these pages were inked in different countries. So fun fact is that Sergio actually wrote down what city he was in when he inked these. So uh, this book was put together, I believe, in Spain and France. This one was done in Angoulême. This one was done in Madrid. So basically in the story, Gru goes uh, to fight the cult, but in the process kind of gets hypnotized himself. So Gru kind of joins the cult. They have to go out and find another hero and that is Arcadio. Another thing that sold me on this book was that it featured a lot of different Gru characters, and one of them is this guy right here, Arcadio. He's sort of like a Gaston type character. You know, he's really into himself, big, strong, heroic type guy. So he goes in there to try and take care of business with the cult, but he too is sucked in by them. So much for Arcadio saving the day. What are they to do? All the men that they get kind of get taken in by this cult. So they try and find Chakal. She's a tough, strong woman, so she's not gonna be phased by the cult. 
Uh, this one was in Castellón. This one was inked in Barcelona. This one was in the airport in Madrid. And a few days later, she shows up at the tavern and uh, is ready to go into battle. Going up to the cult door, opens it up, kind of takes care of business. But what should happen? Gru shows up. Of course, he's still under the spell of the cult and they tell him to fight her and a big battle ensues. Very cool. I guess this is kind of a two-thirds splash. A lot going on here with this battle. Basically, Chikal is kicking Gru's butt and that's often part of the uh, format is that there'll be a single page splash or at least a very large detailed image in there as well. So right when Chikal is about to uh, teach Gru a lesson, kind of wake him up from being brainwashed, uh, somebody slams her with a pot on the head. Uh, off goes Referto, tries to get Gru back by bringing in some rancid cheese dip. And as soon as Gru smells it, he kind of snaps out of his trance and goes to town eating. Villagers come back, say, Gru, what are you doing? And uh, he finds out Chakal is there, being held captive now. So he goes back in, hoping to save the day. He goes in there, kind of takes care of business, and frees Chakal. Of course, uh, refer to him not too happy about that. Then him and Chikal go ahead and they destroy the cult temple. This one was done in Santa Rosa, California. So now we're back from uh, Europe. So this one was inked back here in the United States. We are left with another big two-thirds splash here. Again, a lot of detail in the background, more crowds and uh, we have our moral of the story. The emptier the brain is of facts, the easier it is to fill with nonsense. Fun little story about the dangers of cults. So we get a full 22 page story, but wait, there's more. One of the things that really fascinated me about this issue was that it was set up kind of like a magazine, sort of like a mad magazine, where you have kind of the main story, kind of have these uh, little offshoot stories as well. So it's not just one story that we get here. We also get kind of another short little story. And this one features uh, the characters Pal and Drum, the reward. Um, and Gru is a part of this one as well. So this is kind of like a little bonus, an extra long book. Everything has that fantastic detail, lettering. This one even has the moral too. But wait, there's more. Uh, not only do we get a palindrome story, we also get the minstrel, an ode to beauty. This is kind of a one-page story here, very reminiscent of his work on Mad Magazine. This has some dialogue, very little though, and you kind of just follow the story in pictures. But uh, still more, uh, there is a little game here. And uh, it says here, confused, of course, the panels of this gag are scrambled. And if you put them in order, they'll make sense. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, definitely a little bonus here. And this is in the book as well. There's actually two pages. So I guess this is the original art here. And then this is kind of a photocopy paste up of how it actually appears in the book. So it's kind of cool that they included both of those. Oh, what is this? So here is another photocopy. I guess this is the photocopy before they cut it up and reordered everything. This one is just done on like regular uh, tabloid sized copy paper. And then as another bonus, this is uh, something I thought was really cool, is that we have this little maze, but uh, it features a lot of the Gru cast here. We're missing a few people, but for the most part, we've got a lot of the Gru characters, including Sergio himself. Then down here on the bottom, we've got who they're paired with, kind of a cool maze splash page. And then on the back, we've got uh, little sketches of some skulls and crosses. And then finally, uh, we get the back cover which is another little Referto story. Referto kind of walking in the rain. He sees a spider web, runs back, scares this little guy. He runs into the spider web. 
and Roberto kind of steals his shelter. <laughs> there you go. So that was the entire issue of Gru the Wanderer number 89, which came out in 1992. That artwork was 30 years old. Here is that splash page in color. Personally, I love it in black and white, but uh, the colors definitely help you kind of pick out the different things that are there. We didn't have the artwork for the Guru Graham here, but uh, that's okay. I'm sure that he has that kind of separate, and this is uh, kind of a, just an excerpt from that battle. But other than that, it's pretty much everything. Uh, we don't have this little ad here, but I'm sure this was put in a lot of books, not just this one. Same with this little ad. And then here we have that maze on the back cover. But there you go. Gru, number 89. Very happy to add this entire book to my collection. I will be putting this one in a portfolio uh, just as it is. So uh, anybody that comes by can kind of flip through it and read the whole book if they wanted to. I just want to thank Sergio, his daughter Kristen, for making all this possible. And if you guys are thinking about picking up any of Sergio's work, I will leave a link to their website down below and you can contact them, see what they have available. I would not sleep on this stuff. These are one of a kind items. Uh, once they sell, they are gone. I'm sure uh, some diehard fans like myself are picking these up. So uh, it's gonna cost a pretty penny to part with these masterpieces. Uh, so I am gonna go ahead and scan all of these in. Uh, I like to have scans of all my original art uh, on the computer. I will be posting these to my Comic Art Fans account, at least the covers and splash pages. I don't know if I, I wanna upload an entire 30-something uh, page book. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh,